Hey YouTube, so I just wanted to make an updated video about my second surgery, the revision of the first surgery that I had. I had a photo cataractomy in my eye, um, well both eyes done, but then I had a secondary or a revision surgery done uh, July 15th of 2015. And the reason for that was I continued to have halos around my eyes, uh, particularly at night. And uh, I just got, I don't know, more more out of focus quicker than even I used to. So obviously um, there was a undercorrection and we needed to go back and fix it, which that happens if you have either an autoimmune disease, uh, really dry eyes, uh, very high prescription, um, they just didn't want to go too aggressive, you know, there's different reasons, or maybe you had the surgery quite some time ago, and you just needed a touch-up. However, this was immediately after the first surgery. I had to wait an entire year, and then go back in and do it. Um, I did have a high prescription. I was a negative eight in both eyes, and I also have an autoimmune disease, as well as having dry eyes, um, which has gotten progressively worse, However, it didn't bother me as much as the halo thing bothered me. The halo thing bothered me a lot and actually even scared me sometimes, particularly at night because it became a, a hazard. Not just while driving, but just that I would be freaked out and would be uh, uncertain of, of what it was that I was looking at or not looking at. Now, as far as drops go, or as far as the dry eyes go, uh, Restasis has been helping as well as the artificial tears. I do have to use both of those daily. Um, I've tapered off on the restasis and, and it's, it's helped. Uh, the only other thing I can say is make sure you have your healthy fats. Drink all the water you possibly can. I don't drink soda or anything else like that. Um, just water all the time. I mean, I have Sjogren syndrome, so it's not just my eyes that are dry, it's my nose. It's my mouth, it's all sorts of stuff, so I need to constantly be drinking water anyway. Um, so that's not too much of a problem. And of course, sunglasses, which that's not a problem either. I love sunglasses, but just to protect your eyes from wind, from the sun, they become more sensitive after the surgery. I used to be able to put eyeliner on, no problem, like in the tight line or water line of my eye. And, um, with no problems, didn't hurt, everything was fine, and now it's kind of a struggle to do something like that, only because I feel myself watering up and tearing up so much. Uh, the other thing is, there was never a point where it was like super painful or I felt like it was dangerous or anything like that. You go in there for the revision or even the original surgery, and it literally took 60 seconds per eye, possibly even less, but it was nothing. Um, the recovery is what is annoying. You don't realize that you you need your eyes. You you should you have to see to do so many things, and you don't realize how much uh, you take advantage of that until you're not able to do that. So I had better eyesight than I normally did, but still not great for about a year, and then that had to be fixed. So for that entire year, I saw like a fogginess, almost like a vignette around everything and everybody, um, which is why that was so scary for me because all I could think to myself is I'm going to be driving and or going somewhere and I'm going to think that the road stops before it does or, or that it goes longer or whatever. So it was one of those things that I became super nervous about more, more safety than anything. Um, the other thing is, is now that it's been over a year, I've, I'm fine. I'm 20-20. Sometimes I'm even better than that. Uh, you know, as long as I have enough moisture in my eye, sometimes I'm way better than that. However, everything has been going good so far. I follow up with my surgeon and with my regular eye doctor. Everything's fine. Um, as far as the autoimmune disease, um, that's, you know, going to be a degenerative thing and it gets progressively worse. So I am dealing with that in its own way. Uh, however, the eye problems of it all um, have become better. What I do have to say is, is that after the 
second surgery, I have had my blood vessel in my eye pop. Not because of the surgery, but because now you have a more sensitive eye. So when my blood pressure would go up because of being upset or uh, pressure, you know, like, I don't know, sneezing, something like that. Um, I did have a pop and it was in the eye that was, that there was a cataract in. So I don't know if that had something to do with anything or where the cataract was forming and the, the abscess, if that part of my eye is um, worse and it is permanently uh, scarred. There is a red line in there. I don't know how much of it you can see. Well, actually I can see it on this viewfinder. Um, so yeah, I don't really have any major complaints. I once upon a time was super scared and thought, oh my God, I'll never be able to see again the way that I used to and what the hell is happening to me and oh my God, the surgery was the worst idea ever. And I should have just stuck to glasses and putting drops in my eyes and whatever. But honestly, I couldn't recommend it enough even though I had to do it twice. Most people don't, but I, I really couldn't recommend it enough to to go out there and fix this only because when so much of the rest of me is falling apart because of the rest of this disease, um, I'm glad that there's something that that is okay, that my eyes are okay. Um, only because I, I feel like that's that would be something that, that bothered me a lot more than having intermittent joint pain and um, intermittent <laughs> uh, lung infections and things like that or hives or any of those things. So it is one of, uh, it is something that I'm happy that I invested in. And if you ever are skeptical of something, I was somebody that it didn't necessarily go well for, should have been once, uh, done after a week, healed after a week, and everything be fine after that. And even, that wasn't even my case. And I had to go back and do it again. But even I'm happy with the results that I had because I feel like this was totally worth it. So if you're ever scared or if you're ever unsure of, of what it might, the future might hold with this sort of thing, you're investing in yourself and you're investing in your health long term. Think about that. That's all that I could say. Think about that because even if I can't move or I don't know, I'm I'm just really having a bad day that day. Um, I can't imagine that there would be other news about having a degenerative, my eyes going backwards as well as the rest of me. At least I know that this is going to be good for a another nine years um, minimum. So that, that makes me happy. Uh, if you do have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. I'm happy to answer anything. I usually get back to you in about a day or two. Sorry that I'm not the best at that sort of thing, but I, I try. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.